So those are the different genres. You got biology over here. And then we got uh, sociology and psychology over here. Look at like I like I said, if you were to see my uh, recent IG in regards to the speaking question three, you know, I did one on cognitive dissonance. That's psychology. The professor gave an example from his life. However, in this one, he's not going to give an example from his life. Right. So okay. let's do it. Let's do it. It's that time, senor. So what I'm going to do here, let's do this. Revealing coloration. Are you going to write that down? Fuck no. What you're going to write down is, and what we're going to find first is the definition of revealing coloration. That's what we have to find. Now, normally you could find that title and then it's very easy to find the definition. That's all we have to do, Gustavo is create the definition of what revealing coloration is. That's all we have to do. So it's basically, okay. the reading is about revealing coloration, which is, that's how you're going to open up and open it up in terms of your speaking. Okay. All right. Now, okay. what I see here, I see protect themselves. And over here, I see defensive strategy. And over here, I see Protect themselves from who, Gustavo? Predators. That's it. Predators. That's the definition. Done. History archive. Which is when animals, which is when animals protect, oh, no, that doesn't make sense. Which is when animals protect themselves? No. No, fuck it, fuck it. Which is a defensive strategy that animals use to protect themselves from predators. Okay. There we go. Sometimes I got to reword things and I'm like, hold on, that doesn't make sense. So I had to drop the win. And I just said, which is a what? A defensive strategy. Who uses it? That animals use. Why? To protect themselves from who? Predators. Your okay. notes in those 50 seconds would look like this. Defensive strategy. Animals use. Protect themselves. Or you're probably not going to write the full words either, right? Predators. That's it. Those are your notes. Those are your notes. That's what you would write down with your single hand when you're taking your notes, okay? Okay. So then... And if, then... Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. Uh, and then I have to to speak for 45 seconds. It's no. going to be one minute, just like speaking question two and number four. Speaking questions two, three, and four, you're going to speak for one minute. Okay. This reading is just like the speaking question two, whereas you read, you read, not really read. You just create your opening introduction. And then after this, we have to listen to the audio. Okay. okay, so that is exactly what this looks like. So if I were to just look at those words that I have right there on the screen, it would be like this. The readings about revealing coloration, which is a defensive strategy that animals use to protect themselves from predators. Ooh, I literally just wrote down defensive strategy animals use protect themselves predators. But you heard all my English. I'll say it again. The reading is about revealing coloration, which is a defensive strategy that animals use to protect themselves from predators. Done. Okay. Now, coming back up here, this is basically what I say. Okay. I want my sexy font. I'm sick of this ugly ass font. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right. Any questions, Gustavo? <laughs> No, for now, not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's going to get crazy soon. Now, here we go. My transition is always the professor gives an example of, because I know he's going to name an animal. I know he's going to say an animal. And then he's going to say what the animal does for revealing coloration. And then he'll go into another animal. So more than likely gives an example of, and my other transition would be another example is of the dot, 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 dot. I know they're going to be two animals. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Should be. 
All right, but that's how I'm going to structure out those transitions. So what you're going to do, you're going to watch me and check this out. There is a large tropical insect called the peanut bug. Yes, like the peanuts you eat. Uh, and the peanut bug's front wings are colored so that they blend in with their surroundings. But its back wings, which are usually closed and hidden, have these bright, colorful spots on them. And when the peanut bug's attacked, it suddenly opens its back wings and out pop these big, bright colors. And that surprises the predator and gives the peanut bug a chance to get away. Um, and then you have a butterfly called the morpho butterfly. And parts of the morpho butterfly's wings are very shiny. They reflect a lot of sunlight. When this butterfly is resting, this shiny part of its wings is hidden. Now, morpho butterflies are often attacked by birds. So when a bird approaches, the morpho flies away. And when the morpho flaps its wings, all the bird can see are flashes of light reflected from the morpho's wings. Those flashes of light make it very difficult for the bird to follow the morpho, and the morpho is usually able to get away. Bam! I told you that there were going to be a cut. Now, obviously, I wrote down a lot, but I just wanted to show you exam exactly what was going to happen. I told you that there were going to be two animals, two types of something. So I wrote it with coherence, knowing that this is how I'm going to follow it up. The first example was the professor gives an example of the peanut bug, which its front wings blend in with the surroundings, but its back wings have very colorful spots. So when they get attacked, they open up those back wings, which are, you know, which have bright colors and it surprises the predators so that they can get away. Number one, done. Numero dos. Another example is of the morpho butterfly. Parts of its wings are very shiny. However, when they are resting, they are hidden. However, they're normally attacked by birds. And so when the morpho butterfly flies away, it flaps those bright wings and this surprises and blinds the birds so that they can't follow and the butterfly gets away. Boom. <laughs> There's a lot of boom, 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 bow. Okay. I know. I saw your face. I was like, he's gonna say boom again. <laughs> easier, easier said than done. But do you see that? We got each main idea: peanut bug, morpho butterfly. What do they have? They both have bright color wings or bright spots. Either it's wings yeah. or spots or wings or spots, spots, wings. If you get it confused, who gives a fuck? It's all about your consistency and creating that bullshit so you sound very very convicted with your bullshit. That's the goal. Okay. Scary. I know. Don't. Uh, <laughs> it's not a scary, but <laughs> the real thing is the, the vocabulary and the connections from one sentence to other sentence. Uh, uh, that sounds good and um, with fluency. This is the this is the goal. Exactly. So it's all about knowing exactly what you have to say. Okay, Arsenio said, the professor gives an example of this. He gave another example. Two main ideas, these two things. What do each of those insects have? Bright spots, bright wings. When they're attacked, they either fly, they fly, they, they basically, they blind their predator, the predators and they get away. That's basically what this is. The two main ideas, them having something on their body that blinds the predators so that they can get away. It is up to you how you put those together. Yes. Now, yes, yes, yes. did you have to write down all these big words? There are no big words. <laughs> there no, are literally no. no big words except in the introduction, which is good. Yes. Revealing coloration, defensive strategy, protect themselves, predators. Those are some good words. Those are some nice, sizable words that have a lot of letters within them. The rest of it, though, the professor gives an example. I think my other big words, surroundings, attack, surprise, that's it. Over here, resting, hidden, hidden. that's it. Butterfly, yeah. I don't have that many big words. I don't. 
Uh, Ooh, yes. <laughs> so if I were to give the fool, <laughs> my my wife is cooking this thing and it just kills me all the time. Oh, <laughs> it's it's like a plant. It's it, it, that plant just gives off this thing, it chokes me. Okay, all right, here we go. Jesus Christ, fuck this. <laughs> hey, hold on, two seconds, Hold on. God damn, I gotta open this window. I'm dying. Oh my god. Well, at least there's not that much pollution. Lord. Okay. I think I'm gonna be all right. I think I'm gonna be all right. Okay. I hope I'm all right. Good <laughs> I hope I'm all right, Gutavo. Okay, all right. So here we go. <laughs> ah, god damn it. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Fuck, man, it was sunny yesterday, and now it's cloudy, and I got to wash. Three, two, one. The reading is about revealing coloration, which is a defensive strategy that animals use to protect themselves from predators. The professor gives an example of a peanut bug in which its front wings blend in with its surroundings, but its back wings have bright colored spots. So often the peanut bug is attacked by predators. And when they are, they open their back wings and it reveals these beautiful bright colors, which surprises the predators and they're able to get away. Another example is of the morpho butterfly, which parts of its wings are shiny. And so when it's resting, they are hidden. However, they're often attacked by birds. And when they're attacked, they fly away and they flap these beautiful, bright, shiny wings. And all the birds see are light. And so what ends up happening is they cannot follow the butterfly and the morpho butterfly gets away. So these are the two examples of revealing coloration. Yeah, I know. Boom. <laughs> 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 you were waiting for it. I know, Gustavo, you were waiting for it. You were like, come on, say it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>